welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you for structure design of rcc slab so watch this video till the end to guide you for structure design of rcc slab with flow with beam this is plinth beam so if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys you can see here this is typical column detail and this is the other detail specially for this section etc okay so first of all guys you can see here this is typic uh, this is typical lap detail and beam okay so here guys you can see this is beam and this is typical lap design lap detail and slab so the first one is here and beam so guys here you can see this is one support so this is column and this is other column so the span between two column you can consider anything which is called l are span span between two column here guys you can see at the distance of l by 4 l by 4 mean total length between two columns divided by 4 that is called l by 4 so after l by 4 are at the distance of l by 4 at this position you are able to provide l by 6 at the distance of l by 6 you are able to provide lapping length okay so the maximum stirrup spacing in the lap location at least of the d by 4 or or you can say 4 inches so at the distance of lapping length so remember guys the stirrups should be provided closely up to 4d or d by 4 or you can say total depth of the beam divided by 4 or you can consider up to 4 inches at the distance of l by 4 so this is very important therefore guys lap or splice if required and bottom bar shall be provided in the middle third of the half portion of the beam if you require it so you can provide at bottom portion guys you can see bottom bars not upper portion you are not able to provide the lapping at upper portion but at bottom portion you can provide here next guys you can see dual millet with with stand hooks guys you can see these are standard hooks these are standard hooks it's very important to provide in beam as you can see here and this development length should not be less than six inches but you can use also the specific formula for this which is 0.42 d where d is die of uh, depth of the beam okay next guys if required the lapping length so don't provide lapping length at the middle or l by 2 span divided by 2 or l divided by 2 don't provide at the bottom at the bottom bars but you can provide in compression zone guys you can see here they already provided so lap splice if required and top bars shall be provided at the middle portion of the beam guys you can see this is middle portion l by 2 okay next guys you can see here this is l by 4 here we don't require it. so if you require so you can provide at the bottom portion but not at upper portion if you require so you can provide after l by 4 or at the distance of l by 6 but don't provide l by 2 or don't provide l by 4 so these are some important technical terms for the beam next one is guys slab so this is typical lap detail and slab okay so therefore guys you can see development length with standard hooks you can see these are hooks at the distance of l by 4 so same guys you can see here they already provided in the slab as you can see here in the beam so same you can uh, quote these text as we discussed here okay next guys you can see this is beam typical uh, uh, for the seismic hook details you can see guys the it should be bent on 135 degree don't provide on uh, on 90 degree next guys you can use the uh, hooks length up to 3 inches minimum okay or 6d where d is dia of steel so guys these are hooks details for the uh, seismic hooks details okay next guys you can see typical column details so in typical column details guys you can see here this is beam and this is rcc slab so here guys if you need to provide the lapping so this is the section guys look here let me guide you for this so guys these are the details for slope one ratio six mix so here you can see lap splice if required shall be provided in the middle portion of the column guys you can see look here let me guide you for this text okay so guys you can see clear lap or splice length if required shall be provided at the middle portion of the column so don't provide at the bottom and don't provide at this portion or you can say this is h by 2 so provide here at this place next guys you can see development length with standard hooks this is beam standard hooks you can see in top portion you can provide that's why because of 
if you are uh, making two stories so don't provide it uh, first floor or second floor you when you are making third floor so provide it at, at the top portion where you don't provide uh, the next level etc so this is also very important to know about these details which i have discussed the front of you for typical column detail this is the detail a especially for this uh, circle next typical lab detail in slab and typical a lab detail and beam okay and these are seismic hooks details so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye